Snake Threat September Project, day 12, uh, morning weight 262, that's expected, um, but it was an overall great day, um, diet today was not good at all, but usually when the family gets together and everybody's joining, hanging out, Everybody brings different foods and snacks and everything, and today was just, uh, it was just pure sugar, carb, artificial flavoring, all sorts of disgusting things entered into my body today, but I didn't think anything of it because the conversation was good, the atmosphere was good, everyone just being here around together and not worrying about the craziness in the world right now regardless of what our personal beliefs are some in the family are one side some in the family are another side people like me and the family are kind of just they can see that it's just organized chaos in order to divide everyone and there's obviously a larger spiritual play taking place, but that's neither here nor there. Um, today for dinner, I made some more lamb with uh, bok choy, carrots, broccoli, um, no ginger, there was apple cider vinegar inside of me. Hot pot. It was uh, it was really good. Um, big ol' onion, some garlic cloves, whole garlic cloves. Uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of olive oil, and cooked that for about an hour. Came out delicious. Um. It's just a great day. Tomorrow, being Monday, I will likely make an effort to start another fast, but I'm going to have fruit throughout the day. And yes, that's going to be sugar, but I also plan on working out. So I'll probably have a workout and then some fruit or the fruit. And then a workout, and then a second helping of the fruit. Um, we'll see how that goes. I just don't want any of the stuff that we bought to go bad. As far as the, the spread and vegetables and all that stuff. Before I fast, you know, it sounds like a heck of an excuse to be able to eat, but... Times are tight right now, so it's better not to let it all go to waste and spoil. Um, mental clarity is good today. You know, considering the amount of sugar consumed today, I did feel a little fatigued afterwards, which is probably some sort of sign of pre-diabetic, pre-diabetes, but it also might have been since it's been a really long while since I had a well no it's not I had frozen yogurt the last couple of days so I did have some sort of sugar intake but not this level of sugar intake in a minute so but I still felt pretty good outside of getting fatigued for a little while after all that so that's probably a really bad health sign but when I do get back on the snake juice um, I'm going to try to go for another three to five days, see what happens, and then stick to a much more disciplined diet. Now, I say that now, and, you know, here we are, day 12 of 30, and, uh, track record's not doing so hot, so, but one day at a time. This is Snake Diet September Project, day 12, September 12, 2021, and I'll check in tomorrow.